In mathematics, the infimum of a subset S of a partially ordered set T is the greatest element in T that is less than or equal to all elements of S, if such an element exists. Consequently, the term greatest lower bound is also commonly used. The supremum of a subset S of a partially ordered set T is the least element in T that is greater than or equal to all elements of S, if such an element exists. Consequently, the supremum is also referred to as the least upper bound. The infimum is in a precise sense dual to the concept of a supremum. Infima and suprema of real numbers are common special cases that are important in analysis, and especially in Lebesgue integration. However, the general definitions remain valid in the more abstract setting of order theory where arbitrary partially ordered sets are considered. If the supremum of a subset S exists, it is unique. If S contains a greatest element, then that element is the supremum. Otherwise, the supremum does not belong to S. Likewise, if the infimum exists, it is unique. If S contains a least element, then that element is the infimum. Otherwise, the infimum does not belong to S. The concepts of supremum and infimum are similar to minimum and maximum, but are more useful in analysis because they better characterize special sets which may have no minimum or maximum. For instance, the positive real numbers a plus does not have a minimum, because any given element of a plus could simply be divided in half resulting in a smaller number that is still in a plus. There is, however, exactly one infimum of the positive real numbers, zero, which is smaller than all the positive real numbers and greater than any other number which could be used as a lower bound. Note that zero a per mil a plus. Formal definition a lower bound of a subset S of a partially ordered set is an element A of P such that, A A per mil currency X for all X in S, A lower bound A of S is called an infimum of S if, for all lower bounds Y of S in P, Y A per mil currency A. Similarly, an upper bound of a subset S of a partially ordered set is an element B of P such that, B A per mil yen X for all X in S. An upper bound B of S is called a supremum of S if, for all upper bound Z of S and P, Z A per million B. Existence and uniqueness, infima and suprema do not necessarily exist. Existence of an infimum of a subset S of P can fail if S has no lower bound at all, or if the set of lower bounds does not contain a maximal element. However, if an infimum or supremum does exist, it is unique. Consequently, Partially ordered sets for which certain infima are known to exist become especially interesting. For instance, a lattice is a partially ordered set in which all finite subsets have both a supremum and an infimum, and a complete lattice is a partially ordered set in which all subsets have both a supremum and an infimum. More information on the various classes of partially ordered sets that arise from such considerations are found in the article on completeness properties. Relation to maximal and minimal elements, the infimum of a subset S of a partially ordered set P, assuming it exists, does not necessarily belong to S. If it does, it is a minimal or least element of S. Similarly, if the supremum of S belongs to S, it is a maximal or greatest element of S. For example, consider the set of negative real numbers. This set has no greatest element, since for every element of the set, there is another, larger, element. For instance, for any negative real number x, there is another negative real number x slash 2, which is greater. On the other hand, every real number greater than or equal to 0 is certainly an upper bound on this set. Hence, 0 is the least upper bound of the negative reals, so the supremum is 0. This set has a supremum but no greatest element. However, the definition of maximal and minimal elements is more general. In particular, a set can have many maximal and minimal elements, whereas infima and suprema are unique. Equals minimal upper bounds equals, finally, a partially ordered set may have many minimal upper bounds without having a least upper bound. Minimal upper bounds are those upper bounds for which there is no strictly smaller element that also is an upper bound. This does not say that each minimal upper bound is smaller than all other upper bounds, it merely is not greater. The distinction between minimal and least is only possible when the given order is not a total one. In a totally ordered set, like the real numbers, the concepts are the same. As an example, 
let S be the set of all finite subsets of natural numbers and consider the partially ordered set obtained by taking all sets from S together with the set of integers a currency and the set of positive real numbers a plus, ordered by subset inclusion as above. Then clearly both a currency and a plus are greater than all finite sets of natural numbers. Yet, neither is a plus smaller than a currency nor is the converse true, both sets are minimal upper bounds but none is a supremum equals least upper bound property equals. The least upper bound property is an example of the aforementioned completeness properties which is typical for the set of real numbers. This property is sometimes called dedicant completeness. If an ordered set S has the property that every non-empty subset of S having an upper bound also has a least upper bound, then S is said to have the least upper bound property. As noted above, the set A of all real numbers has the least upper bound property. Similarly, the set a currency of integers has the least upper bound property. If S is a non-empty subset of a currency and there is some number n such that every element S of S is less than or equal to n, then there is a least upper bound U for S, an integer that is an upper bound for S and is less than or equal to every other upper bound for S. A well-ordered set also has the least upper bound property, and the empty subset has also a least upper bound, the minimum of the whole set. An example of a set that lacks the least upper bound property is a sh, the set of rational numbers. Let S be the set of all rational numbers Q such that Q2 a sh2, or a member of S greater than P of P.